Hello everyone, my name is uh, Stephen Mwilongia. Welcome to KU's uh, TV station. Uh, I'm Stephen. I come from uh, St. Bakitas Yakago Girls. I teach chemistry and biology. So uh, before, I've, uh, before I start, I would like now to acknowledge uh, my uh, chief principal, uh, Yakago Girls. Madam Anne Mwagangi. Now, learners, welcome to today's lessons. Ma okay, thank you. Welcome. Uh, today's lesson, I'm going to take you through Form 2 chemistry. Uh, the topic are salts. As you all know that uh, topic is hot, uh, involve, uh, it involve a sort of insoluble and insoluble salts. So uh, now I'm going to take you through a lesson on uh, preparation of a soluble salts. Now before I, uh, we continue, let us know uh, the objective of the lesson. Now, what are the how to come? What are the expectations by the head of the lesson? Now, first, that is objective. By the head of the lesson, you will be able now, you'll be able to describe and discuss various methods of preparing a soluble salts. That is the first uh, objective or the expectation. Now, the second uh, expectation, write a well and balanced chemical equation for the reaction involved. Write a well balanced chemical equation uh, for the reaction involved in uh, preparation of a soluble uh, salt. Uh, now, a soluble salt learns. In, uh, in Form 1, uh, you, will learn, uh, you will learn about acid base indicators. Acid base indicators. And there is somewhere that you learn uh, the reactions between acid, hard base, acid, and metal. Now, one acid. At base, when react, will form salt at the water. Also, you learn in Form 1, uh, when a metal reacts with acid, produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Now, having known that, having known that, now we can learn a method used in preparation of uh, in preparation of a soluble salt. Now, the first method of preparing a soluble salt, first method of preparing a soluble salt, we have a method of preparing a soluble uh, salt. Now, the first method, it is the reaction the first method of preparing a soluble salt reaction of metal with acids. Reaction of metal with acids. Now, that is one method of preparing a soluble salt. Now, uh, briefly, let me take you through uh, this method. And uh, again, this uh, reaction of metal with acid, it is uh, a little bit a practical in it, a practical a bit of it. But now we are going to learn the theory. We are going to learn the theory. And then if it is next lesson, we look at a uh, practical bit of it. Now, uh, 
in form one in form one in form one you learn the reaction when metal react with acid when metal react with acid a produce produces a salt produces salt plus hydrogen gas plus hydrogen a uh, gas plus hydrogen gas so when a metal react with water form salt and hydrogen gas for example a metal like zinc a metal like zinc when it react with sulfuric acid that is acid will produce a zinc two sulfates and a hydrogen gas and a hydrogen gas now hydrogen gas as zinc will produce zinc two sulfates and a hydrogen gas zinc two sulfate it is a, a soluble uh, a zinc metal plus sulfuric acid will produce zinc sulfates plus hydrogen gas now zinc two sulfate it is a soluble salt and uh, hydrogen gas will produce now let's go through the method of uh, preparing zinc two sulfate which is a soluble uh, salt which is a soluble salt uh, in the slide that i've projecting uh experiment one housing two sulfate prepared now learners let us go through these are uh, a procedure of preparing zinc two sulfates now first first uh, measure about 20 centimeters cubed of dilute sulfuric six acid and transfer into a beaker hand zinc powder a little at a time as you stir with a glass rod continue hardening continue hardening until it is in excess a filter the solution and pour it into an evaporating basin uh, for instance uh, our in the slide that I'm projecting in the screen, first, you have measured about 20 centimeters cubed of uh, dilute sulfuric acid, hand it in the beaker, uh, zinc, hard zinc powder in the, uh, the sulfuric acid that you have measured, then filter. That is, in the diagram, that is part B. You can see how you filter. Uh, in form one, you learn how you fold the filter paper. You insert it in the filter funnel. And then you filter as in that diagram, that part B. Then you'll be able now to collect the filtrate. And what remains in the, the filter paper, it is the residue. Now you take that filtrate, are you and uh, you put it in an evaporating dish. You evaporate that filtered uh, to dryness. Now, after that, when you evaporate the, the filtered, the crystals will be formed. Now, that crystals formed, it is zinc to sulfates. It is zinc to sulfate, the crystals that is formed. Now, if we have learned that, the next, it is to formulate what you've learned. For instance, in the procedure, you have hardened zinc, that zinc is going now to react with sulfuric acid to produce zinc 
to sulfates and hydrogen gas has shown in here when writing zinc solid reacting with sulfuric acid uh, acquires that is the reaction will produce zinc to sulfate plus hydrogen gas plus hydrogen gas plus hydrogen gas now you are in form two you need now to write a chemical equation not a word equation when writing a chemical equation for the reactor what they react there is zinc that is solid you follow the rule form balancing chemical equation zinc which is solid dilute sulfuric six acid it is supposed to be in aqueous form the product it is zinc to sulfate which is in aqueous plus hydrogen gas now you need to write a well balanced chemical equation now you confirm whether the chemical equation is balanced by checking on the reactant and the product signed each at a time so here for instance if it is zinc it is on the reactant is supposed to be one atom on the product side one atom the zinc atom it is balanced you go to hydrogen there is two hydrogen atom on the product side two hydrogen atom uh, the sulfur for the on the sulfuric uh, six acid kuna one sulfur on the reactant side it is one sulfur so the sulfur atom balanced you go for oxygen oxygen atom there are four on the reactant side and on the product side there are four now having that one that is a well balanced chemical equation for the reaction of zinc and sulfuric six acid now when uh, preparing this method when prepared this are uh, zinc to sulfates you hand sulfuric uh, you hand zinc to the sulfuric six acid now there are something now you need now to point out now on the screen i will now uh, reflect the discussion what you need to learn on the screen uh, there is zinc react with dilute sulfuric six acid to produce zinc sulfates and hydrogen gas now the reactions between zinc and the sulfuric has six acid there is an observation you can get now there is a five sense produced when you hand uh, zinc to the sulfuric six acid now the FF sense will be produced. So to confirm whether the reaction have been stopped, it is where you know that the reaction have stopped when the FF sense stop to be produced. So again, on the procedure, we say that the zinc sulfate it is undened in excess. Why do you hand zinc in excess? To sulfuric six acid that one is to ensure how the acid react completely to ensure how the acid react completely another thing another thing that you need now to get from the procedure are uh, the you filtered you did a filtrations the procedure you filter why do you filter to remove an reacted zinc to remove an reacted zinc metal remember when you hand zinc to the sulfuric six acid not all the zinc sulfates will react with the sulfuric uh, six acid now you filter to remove the unreacted to remove an reactant uh unreacted zinc metal so uh, again the 
chemical equation is that. Uh, you, another point to note, another a very important to note, you hadn't zinc in excess, you, you hadn't zinc to the sulfuric six acid to form a solution. Now that solution that uh, you have dead, it, that solutions now that will be formed when you had zinc and sulfuric acid, it is a saturated solution. It is a saturated solution. We are learning about the reaction of metals with acid. That is one method of preparing a soluble salt. Now we have written an equation for the reactions between a zinc and a sulfuric uh, acid, being a zinc, a metal, and sulfuric acid. It is a dilute sulfuric acid. Now, other salt that can be prepared by the same method, we have a zinc chloride. Other salt that can be prepared by the same method, we have zinc, uh, a zinc chloride, zinc chloride. Another, it is magnesium sulfate can be prepared by the same um, magnesium sulfates. Uh, another salt that can be prepared by the same uh, calcium uh, calcium uh, chloride calcium chloride. Now, uh, I would like learners you try to write an equation for the reaction between a zinc and a dilute endochloric acid because now a zinc chloride it is a salt that can be prepared by use of a zinc metal and dilute hydrochloric acid. Now, for example, when writing uh, an equation for the formation of zinc chloride, we have zinc, again, remember, in form two, you need to write a chemical equation, not a one equation. When writing a chemical equation, there is a balancing rule that normally followed. We have a zinc, which is a solid, and then we have dilute endochloric acid, which is in aqueous. Uh, we'll produce zinc chloride, zinc chloride, aqueous, and hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas. Now, this chemical equation for the reaction between zinc and dilute uh, dichloric acid to produce zinc chloride, which is a, a soluble salt, and hydrogen gas. Now, this chemical equation, when you look at it here, it is not balanced. You need now to balance. For instance, uh, the one that is not balanced the hydrogen atom on the reactant side not balanced, and on the product side. So on the reactant side, the hydrogen, it is one atom, and on the product, there are two atoms. So you need now to balance that. Now you balance by use of, you balance that uh, chemical equation by use of the lowest common multiple. So in our case here, you balance with the lowest, that is, uh, you put two there to balance for hydrogen on the other side. You put two there. When you put two there, the hydrogen become two atom. On the product side, there are two. That is, equation is balanced. Then the, the zinc, I mean chlorine atom, chlorine atom on the reactant side now become two when you put two there, and on the product side, there are two. That chemical equation it is balanced. It is balanced. Now, uh, learners, you can write now other chemical equation for the reaction between calcium, between, thank you, my director. Uh, uh, you write, now you can write other chemical equation for the reaction between calcium and a dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid. And we also write for the reaction between magnesium metal and dilute nitric acid. Now, these are, are three salt that can be prepared by the same method, and they are soluble salt, and they are soluble salt. Uh, now, 
the next uh, method of preparing a soluble salt there is a reaction of acid a reaction of acid on insoluble uh, basis reaction of acid on insoluble basis on the screen i'm going to uh, to to show you the second method that's the reaction of acid on insoluble uh, basis so that is another method of preparing a soluble salt now for example preparation of a copper 2 sulfate preparation of copper 2 sulfate preparation of a copper 2 sulfate now again let's let us go through the procedure of preparing copper 2 sulfate in our next lesson we are going to learn to do a practical to do a practical now let us start the first procedure when preparing copper 2 sulfates you need now to have this you need to have dilute sulfuric acid and uh, the copper 2 oxide which is a uh, insoluble uh, base uh, insoluble uh, base uh, copper first procedure you measure about 20 centimeters cube of uh, 20 centimeters cubed of uh, dilute sulfuric 6 acid hand it to the beaker I uh, put it to the beaker and then uh, you warm the acid you warm the acid again why are you warming the acid you warm the acid to speed up the reaction between sulfuric uh, 6 acid and copper 2 oxide when you hand then copper 2 uh, oxide uh, to the sulfuric 6 acid you stir you stir you stir a little at a time as you hand sulfuric sulfate solution and then after that the solution that is formed uh, you will filter you will filter and collect the filtrate filter and collect the filtrate uh, then transfer the filtrate on the evaporating dish or evaporating basin on a uh, uh, evaporating basin evaporate 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 the filtrate evaporate the filtrate over a water bath to a saturation now evaporate over water bath to a saturation point now this crowd now you evaporate the the fit it over the water bath now why are we evaporating over the water bath reason or oh, you evaporate over water bath remember we want now to have a copper 2 sulfate crystals which is incorporated with the water so we need now to have the copper 2 sulfate having crystals in it incorporated with water that is hydrated copper 2 sulfates hydrated copper 2 sulfates now after you have evaporated you allow the crystals to form when the crystals form, you allow them uh, uh, you dry the crystals between the filter paper you dry the crystals between the filter uh, paper now that is a procedure on preparing copper 2 sulfate a procedure on preparing copper 2 sulfate now let's look at let's go through to do we point out why we are doing this why we are doing the copper 2 oxide in excess why are we warming there that is that is go to discussion discussion on uh, preparation of copper 2 sulfates uh, uh, now next uh, discussion that is the reaction between copper 2 uh, reaction between copper 2 and and put sulfuric 6 acid as you can look on the screen uh, the copper 2 oxide when it react with uh, sulfuric 6 acid will produce copper 2 sulfates uh, plus water that is that uh, chemical equation on the screen and the type of reaction between copper 2 
as uh, copper 2 oxide and sulfuric 6 acid uh, that type of reaction referred to as neutralization referred to as neutralization another point to note about uh, when preparing copper 2 oxide this copper 2 oxide uh, was hardened or was used uh, was hardened to the uh, dilute sulfuric 6 acid that one the excess copper 2 oxide is used to ensure that all the acid that is copper 2 sulfate to ensure that all the acid react with uh, acid to ensure that uh, all the acid has reacted and uh, remember the reactions between the reaction between the acid and uh, the oxide it is a little bit uh, slow also we warm the acid that is to speed up the rate of uh, reaction the rate of reaction that is the reaction between acid and uh, oxide and oxide for example for instance copper 2 oxide the the reaction is a little bit slow but to speed up it we warm we warm the the acid before you add copper 2 sulfate uh, another thing uh, another point to note uh, you have noted in procedure evaporation of the filtrate evaporation of the filtrate are done over the water bath over the water bath and uh, ev evaporation is normally done slow by slow that one it is for formation of large crystals formation of large crystals and also the evaporation is normally done uh, slowly uh, for formation of large crystals and also uh, the crystals left for uh, some time for some time for uh, it is not left for uh, some time not evaporated uh, directly that one to ensure that the copper 2 sulfate having the water in it that copper 2 sulfate is found to us hydrated copper 2 sulfate hydrated copper 2 sulfate hydrated copper 2 sulfate now that is the method of uh, preparing uh, a soluble salt that is the reaction of uh, a soluble uh, the reaction of uh, uh, a oxide that is insoluble a uh, base with uh, an acid other salt that can be prepared by the same method uh, other salt that can be prepared by the same method we have on the screen you can refer these salts we have lend 2 nitrate and uh, magnesium sulfates, calcium chloride. Uh, those are some of the examples of salt that can be prepared by uh, reacting insoluble uh, base with an acid. Again, let us now look at the equation that will be uh, formed when, uh, uh, for example, when preparing lend 2 nitrate using an insoluble uh, base using an insoluble uh, base for example uh, for example the salt that can be prepared by the lend to nitrate lend to nitrate i write for you one chemical equation for the reaction that involves between lend and uh, dilute lead oxide and a dilute nitric acid for instance insoluble base uh, we have lead oxide solid plus a dilute nitric acid dilute nitric acid now learners what is be formed when uh, lead oxide which is insoluble base and dilute nitric acid will produce will produce land nitrates again you follow the rules of balancing the chemical equation you write a correct chemical formula of land nitrate land nitrate or land 2 nitrate that is the land 2 nitrate is a, a soluble salt plus water plus water will be formed that is liquid formed now you ensure you confirm whether the chemical equation is balanced you balance where 
the heart uh, you balance the compound that is having the heart that is not balanced. In our case here, len, uh, nitric acid, the heart they are not balanced. You put two, use the lowest multiple to balance the uh, chemical equation. Now you balance the chemical equation like that. Now, uh, the other method, the other, the other salt that can be prepared by the same, you can write the chemical equation for the reaction between magnesium uh, sulfates uh, and uh, calcium chloride and calcium chloride. Now, these are two methods that are used in preparation of a soluble uh, salt. So, uh, the other uh, method that can be prepared by the same method, we have neutralization, that is the reaction between a soluble uh, basis, a soluble uh, base, a soluble base, a soluble base and uh, an acid that is neutralization now on the screen you can uh, you can see the third method of preparing uh, a soluble uh, salt by action of reacting a base that is a soluble base with an acid with an acid for example preparation of a sodium chloride it is a soluble uh, salt, sodium chloride. You measure about, go through the procedure. Again, that uh, will uh, do the practical next lesson. You go there, we'll, let us go through the, the procedure. First, measure about dilute hydrochloric acid and pour it in another 25 centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide. Again, uh, you pour it into another beaker. Here you need now to detect uh, to to confirm the the solution whether it is acid or base. So you hand two to three drop of phenolphthalein indicator into sodium hydroxide into the sodium hydroxide. Again, why are you adding this uh, phenolphthalein indicator to to confirm the head point when the acid and uh, uh, dilute uh, I mean, when acid and uh, sodium hydroxide react. Now, when you put two to three drop of phenolphthalein indicator into the sodium hydroxide, you hand uh, dilute endochloric acid little at a time, little at a time until the color of uh, the color pink just uh, disappear. That is the the pink uh, the. When you hand phenolphthalein indicator in the base, it will turn a pink. Now, when you hand dilute endochloric acid here, when the reaction, uh, when the reaction attain between acid at base, that pink color will disappear. Now, endochloric acid to the uh, sodium hydroxide, you use the universal indicator. You use the universal indicator to confirm the resulting solution, whether it is a base or acid or a neutral, you use the universal indicator. Now, when you use the universal indicator, the resulting solutions will have about will have a pH of seven, meaning that the resulting solution formed it is a, a neutral. It is a, a neutral. Now, a neutral solutions contain salts. A neutral uh, solution contain salt and the water, and the reactions which are salt and water uh, formed refer to us a neutralization a reaction, neutralization a reaction. Again, on the, on the screen, there is a, a chemical uh, equation for the reaction between hydroxide and dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute endochloric acid. Other method that can be prepared by the same method, that is neutralization reaction between a soluble base and an acid, we have potassium nitrate. Uh, we have uh, potassium nitrate that can be prepared by the same method. We have ammonium chloride. Uh, on the screen, these examples of salt that can be prepared by this a method we have 
potassium nitrate, ammonium chloride, ammonium uh, sulfates, and sodium sulfates. Uh, again, we look at the we write a chemical equation for the reaction between one of the salt that is prepared by neutralization. For example, for example, uh, potassium, uh, potassium nitrate, potassium nitrate. Uh, we can write this chemical equation when a potassium, uh, a soluble base here, it would be potassium oxide will be a potassium oxent and a dilute nitric acid. Potassium oxent, again this potassium hydro hydroxide is aqueous. We look at potassium uh, hydroxent with uh, dilute nitric acid aqueous will form potassium nitrate and the water which is a liquid and the water now potassium hydroxide and dilute nitric acid that is the the product uh, sodium potassium nitrate to be formed the potassium nitrate it is a, a soluble a base it is a, a soluble a base now uh, learners we have learned three methods of preparing a soluble salt uh, we have learned through uh, three method of preparing uh, soluble uh, salt. Now, we can now a review of what we learned. The first method we'll have learned, there is a reaction between a metal and a, an acid. Metal and an acid. Uh, the second method that we have learned, it is the reaction of uh, an oxide uh, with an acid reaction of an oxide which is insoluble base with an acid and the other one it is a reaction between a soluble base with an acid with an acid now these are three methods that we have learned now uh, we can we can stop there next class we'll look at about the practical bit of it will go through the practical. Thank you for listening us. Let us see you in the next uh, lesson.